So there's kind of a running joke we have here on House Smarts where I'm constantly telling everybody on the crew, hey, I'm more than just a pretty face. You know, you think I'm just here hosting a television show, but I spent 25 years as a home builder. And along the way, I learned a few tricks of the trade. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've learned over all these years on how to get the job done quicker, how to get better results, and ultimately how to do it a lot safer. Come with me. All right, this first trick of the trade is very important, ladder safety. 200,000 people end up in the emergency room every year because of accidents on ladders because you're too much in a hurry. Take your time. This is a good quality extension ladder. You're gonna lean it up against the house. The angle that you put it at is important. Put your toes right at the base. Make sure it's sitting there flat and firmly. Then you wanna extend your arms out shoulder length and this should be nice and level. When you do that, it's at the proper angle. But before you climb up, these hooks that lock both ladders together, make sure they're both engaged. You shouldn't be able to pull these back. So then as you climb up, you know that it's nice and firm. I'd like you also to tie off the ladder at the top. This particular house does not have a gutter, but you'd wanna wrap that bungee cord around and hook it on both sides to keep it from swaying back and forth. All right, now, I wanna to talk to you about your weight. I'm not talking about you going on a diet. I mean, if you're going to get a new driver's license and you wanna tell the person behind the counter you weigh 10 pounds less, that's fine. But when it comes to using a ladder, it's important that you check the duty rating. There's gonna be a sticker on the side of it that's gonna tell you what it's rated for. Now, it's not just about how much you weigh, but the tool belt you may have on around your waist, the material you're bringing up onto the ladder, that all counts. If it's too lightweight of a ladder, you could get hurt. Well, I brought in a big gun here for this piece of advice. Joe, you've been a builder for 42 years. You've seen a lot. Uh, when it comes to finishing drywall, it's probably one of the most important things in your profession because that's what the customers see. Let's talk about a patch here and how to get the best results, whether it's a big patch or a small patch. What do you do? Take it slow. You know, get your pieces cut, have it ready to go, cut your fiber mesh tape. It's self-adhesive, you apply it and then start applying your joint compound. And you'll put it on, smooth it out the best you can before you, after that dries, before you put the next coat on, hit it with a warm water sponge, knock the edges down, and you're gonna eliminate 99% of the dust that way. Just gotta be careful, because if you go too deep, you can take it all off. You might have to go to four steps. Then. <laughs> That's great, thank you. Now there are plenty of times in your life where you're gonna to have to hire a professional plumber to come to your home. I actually learned this trick from a professional plumber. A lot of times people have toilets and they just say they don't flush properly. I don't know what's going on. What happens is plumbers come out to your home many times and bring a metal coat hanger and a mirror and that's how they fix it. You can do the same thing. Open up your toilet. Take that hanger apart so you've got a little hook on the end like this and you're gonna use the mirror so you can hold it under the rim to see the hole. You know, there's a series of holes under the rim that help create that flushing action. Then you're gonna take that and you're gonna go in that hole and you're gonna scrape it like a dentist does. Get up inside there and kind of really move it around. And then you go to the next hole, and then the next hole, and the next hole. And you keep scraping that out. And then when you do that, you flush the toilet. And it works like a champ. So that's it. Just a few tricks of the trades that I've learned over the years from some really fine craftspeople. This is the kind of stuff you're not gonna find on YouTube. Now when we do it next time, I'm gonna show you how you take some lipstick and use it to hang doors in your home so they close perfectly every time. You're gonna have to keep watching. <laughs>